I'm Gabby Lamb. And I'm Harper Rose Drummond. And you're You're listening to Tea Time, Time, where we talk about the nastiest, dirtiest, naughtiest, wildest secrets. Enjoy. It's just been so long, I don't remember how to podcast. Yeah, Lee did our little clap. Lee of dissociating. We are helicopter. Helicopter, (laughs) helicopter. (laughs) (laughs) Helicopter, (laughs) helicopter. (laughs) Has that been showing up on your TikTok? (laughs) God. uh, Helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> Did we? Are we going? Yeah, yeah. Oh, guys, guess what? Good news. We have a Patreon. <laughs> okay, Gabby, going in. You're just fucking raw dogging the podcast. <laughs> Hi, guys. I have a special treat. Welcome back to another episode of Tea Time with me, your host, Gabby Lamb. And I'm Harper Rose Drummond. But you guys already know that because you listen to the intro and you listen to this podcast, so you know exactly who the fuck we are. Welcome back. Ooh, we, we we actually do. Okay, we are starting at a. Uh, a p- I'm gonna say we're starting we at tea time. We're starting. Don't. You're starting to piss me off. But you're, you're pissing just- me off. <laughs> she fucking got into a fight with her boyfriend on the way here. It wasn't a fight. You tried to. You tried to ignite. Because you said that he was cheating on I me. I did not say that. You said that he thinks that I'm a bullfrog. <laughs> You, she tried to fucking jack in the box her boyfriend again when I was in the car with her. <laughs> this time it was verbal and it's because you were starting lies. This is not what I want to fucking talk about. Okay, well then let's talk about what we need to talk about. God, and you were spreading lies and you were being chaotic. And I just want y'all to know it's not only just me. I wasn't doing that, Who comes that in with that fucking hellfire. I, I so take accountability. God grant me the serenity. <laughs> <laughs> You're the bullfrog. <laughs> What was, what was that song about a bullfrog? Helicopter. No, there was a song about a bullfrog. Jeremiah was Jeremiah. a bullfrog. He was a friend, friend of mine. Friend of mine. Okay, and Lee, let I loose with that voice. Hat. Friend hey, of mine. Hey. Yeah, nice. Hey. Oh. oh my god. I, I forgot my coffee. Oh. <laughs> helicopter, and helicopter. helicopter. Oh. <laughs> helicopter, helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> Ouch! Okay, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We do have a Patreon now. We're going to be putting more advice um, on the Moving Patreon. our advice section over to yeah, the Patreon. So Patreon. We're, we're going to slowly move our advice it. section over to Patreon. We're going to and do extra stories. Yeah, so extra any stories. stories that we run out of time for. And we're going to keep some advice on the end of the episode and then move advice over to Patreon because we really want you guys who are engaged and who want to be here and who really want to take advice seriously to ask for advice because we love to give it. Yeah. So that's what you're getting on Patreon. Also, what you're getting on Patreon is Harper is going to upload pictures of her hole. And <laughs> and it's you don't know which hole it is until you <laughs> subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> and Helicopter. That's okay, no, but um, I don't know if that's okay that I'm doing that actually. But uh, yeah, Why no. Not? But we're also gonna have a cute um. Oh yeah, and stickers. Yeah. Yes, we're making merch for those who are on audio only. The sticker is. Uh, we created uh, in this house sign, like in this house, we believe in this house, we believe all kinks matter, but will be judged. Breastfeeding is for adults. Mm-hmm. Two girls, one cup has a bigger cultural cultural impact than 9-11. It's true. Men should be legally banned from TikTok. True. Mm-hmm. We have hot cousins. Yep. yep. And Sunday is for tea time. Yes. With Gabby Lamb and Harper Rose Drummond. And that's the sticker that you will get. And you can put that on your grandma's fridge. Or your ex-boyfriend's car. Ooh. Put it on some road signs. Yeah, great. Love it. Get, yeah. Pe- get people into it. So let's catch people up on the past week. We didn't put out an episode the last weekend uh, because all of us thought that we all had COVID We scares. all thought that we all had COVID. Guess what? We didn't. I, we don't. I, we got Harper and I got the Moderna booster a few days ago. That took Kicked us out. Ass. Kicked our fucking asses. Great now. My boyfriend had COVID. Um, he's good now. He's good now. He tested negative he yesterday. He still can't really taste, right? Still can't really taste. Still can't really smell. 
Uh, now I was getting migraines, really bad migraines. He's never had a, he's never been a migraine guy. Isn't it fun how COVID affects us? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I thought I had COVID because I was exposed to him. And you thought you had it because you were exposed to me. Then Lee thought he had it because he got it from somewhere else. Everyone has COVID. So if you have COVID right now, thank you for listening. I hope this makes your COVID feel better. And I hope you guys get boosted, tutored and boosted because honestly, it wasn't as bad as the vaccine. For me, it was. It was horrible. Oh, I hate. Well, no, I had no, more of a fever. No, that was not as bad as the vaccine. Really? My yeah, yours wasn't as bad for you, but mine was really bad. Mine kicked my ass. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, it looked like it kicked your ass on that on that Instagram story. Mm-hmm. It did kick my it fucking really ass. Fucked up. Um. Oh my god. Wait, I got a gnarly fucking rash from it. So I yeah, like you did. yeah. Um, this is probably like ten hours after I got it, and I started feeling really itchy, and I like go into the bathroom and I look at my fucking body and I had a, a rash going from like right what is this your collarbone yep from right here all the way down to my belly button and it was just like this red raised bubbly rash little and did then, you know I snuck a bunch of fleas into your bed so that's what that was well I left some little sand fleas in your bed to, just this morning. So get ready, honey. So last night. Oh, my God. I just looked at the mic. Oh, wait. It's not an open mic mic. So it's, it's not okay. an open no, mic. it's yours. But I, I have a triggered. question. You guys know what triggered. sand, you know what sand fleas are, right? They're like those little shelled flea things that you like go and you, you stick your hand under sand and you get these like little tiny weird crab things. Yeah. What you know do you guys are? do at the beach? I don't, I don't like the beach really because because of stuff like that. Because of sand fleas. I love sand yeah. fleas. Um, you sent a I Gabby sent a video. Yeah, they were so cute. <laughs> no, okay, she so, sent, no, but she here's sent my question. Video yeah, of like someone cooking them. They were cooking them. It's disgusting. They look like little sea cockroaches. Anyway, my question for both of you is: Yes, would you rather mm-hmm. have sand fleas crawl up your asshole and your pussy? How many uh, at the same time? Sure, same time. Yeah. Okay, so pussy and pussy. We've got, well, yeah, pussy and pussy. We've got thirty in each hole. Okay. Or in my dick hole. Yeah. You no, know, no, no. Inside you, no, the dick hole. No, you or, you don't get them in your dick hole. You just no. get them in your asshole. Really? Uh, yeah, they can't fit in there. Okay. In, okay, in, Lee. I mean, I'll put them in. <laughs> Sometimes your determination is a flaw. Okay. Anyway, and not a strength. My okay. qu- the, my question is, what is the question? <laughs> the fleas up the pussy and the asshole. Or would you rather fuck a dog? What kind of dog? How far are we in? <laughs> <laughs> Patreon dog. <laughs> or would you rather fuck your on one? Your family dog. Your family. You're loving the family dog that you love. How, How long are they in there? Half hour. Fuck. I'm, I'm gonna do the half hour. Yeah. Really? Because they're coming out. Yeah, they are coming out. I'm they're gonna go. With the, I'm gonna go with the fleas. Yeah, you only you- fuck the dog for like a minute. You have to fuck the dog well, that for half lets an hour us too. In, that gives a half us half an hour. Yeah, yeah. It's a long time to fuck a dog. You're taking time. a pill and you're going full, full on yeah, doggy style yeah. with the Pomeranian or whatever you grew up with. Pomeranian. <laughs> I grew up with a husky, actually. Oh, okay, that's you're a, nice a beast. One. <laughs> um, beast girth- to beast, girthy. Where yeah. did you guys grow up with? Did you guys grow up with dogs? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. German Shepherd mix, cocker spaniel, and this little shitty poodle named Laddie. Oh, mine. I hated Laddie. He looked like a little rat on stilts. <laughs> my mom would like breastfeed him. She was the only one in the house <laughs> that liked Laddie. If you walked into the room and Laddie was in there, he would growl. You get near my mom. <laughs> Fuck. Fuck Laddie. Damn. Yeah. I had a dog named Tilly. I would call her Tiswald for fun. And um, she was like part chocolate rat. Wow. Part chocolate lab and part um, Weimarimer. I think it's called. Weimarimer. Yeah. She cute. Was really cute. That's a cute dog. That's a smart very, dog. Pr- very smart. Very smart. Very I know cute. my breeds. That's a smart dog. My dad wanted to fuck that dog. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ask him the sand flea question then. Dad? No. He would never pick up my call. Okay. But here's the thing. All right. Well, we can move away from that now. Um, from the fucking part. We could talk more about our You guys would you take the sand fleas? <sighs> so yeah, take the sand fleas. It's 30 minutes, Lee. What do I I'm gonna Lee just be on to TikTok for thir- I'm already so numb. I actually I invite it. If it, you can shake me out of whatever mood I've so been I in. So I shoehorn a bunch. Be- I'll shoehorn a bunch of sand fleas into You're your You're going to do it? Yeah, sure. No, I'll fuck the dog. I don't want you touching me. <laughs> 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 but like bugs, like, see, I don't I don't like being itchy. Well, I don't it's like not a bug. bug. It's a oh, crustacean. Wait, speaking of the dog it's thing. It's a crustacean. Remember when you almost got canceled on Twitter when um, 
you posted a picture of our <laughs> room, of our roommate Joy. I did almost get canceled. Because Joy's naked all the time. Yeah, she just walks around naked. She's just she's very like hippie ish, very like, you know, you peace and love. Nudity on Twitter. Well, well not honey, when no, it was like, like this. this. Lee, let us finish. Yeah, come on, Lee. Okay. <laughs> Lee. <laughs> Lee, I've had too much caffeine. I didn't even finish it. Okay, um, but here's the thing: you Gabby can posts- be really naked on Twitter. Go on. Yeah, you actually can't. Oh my god, Gabby and I were watching girls- porn on there the other night. Oh I was god. showing you this porn yeah. account yeah. that was crazy. Like, people getting like fucked, like why, sucking that's dick. That's why, why I just I had to delete my Twitter because it, my whole feed became porn. <gasps> Jesus Christ, Lee. Lee. <laughs> It Fuck! Became only fans, girls. Oh, oh my god! And they give it all up. They give it all up on there. Yeah. Yeah. At well, first. they they do what? like te- they do teasers for yeah, yeah, for like, their their like porn. our advice section. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Wow. They Damn. really go. <laughs> they really go Twitter. off. That's Speaking wrong. of going off, though, Joy was naked on our couch as she does, and you know, if you guys don't know, Gabby has two cats, Pablo and Griselda, and Pablo was sitting on top of Joy, and. Um, Pablo was taken away from her mom a little too early, so she likes to suckle. She suckles. She takes her paws and like presses you know, and like she, gets she, her mouth. Like it's like a whole like ritual for her yeah. if you really want to get into she it, loves it. Which we do. And um, so Gabby took a cute pic of P trying to get that milky milk. It looked like she was breastfeeding the cat. I and posted more it on or less, Twitter. She, kind of, she was like, do she was like soft core breastfeeding. And she just thought it was funny, but it wasn't like she was really breastfeeding. She wasn't actually breastfeeding but the cat. Like it, wasn't, Twitter, it was just an optical cute illusion. It was. And people on Twitter lost it. And they're like, how could you do this? this and they were like, disgusting. it's animal abuse. <laughs> <laughs> and Joy was just trying to share the wealth of her milkers. Uh. <laughs> and Pablo was a little hungry girl. Oh, she wanted oat milk. <laughs> she, wanted, she wanted to suckle on the mommy. She said, are you my mom? She said, I was taken away from my mommy too early, so I need to suckle. <laughs> and she said, big milk, and she wants she to said, suckle. And she said, nipples, and she said, I need to sucky suck. <laughs> I need to suck on the and nipples. she said, do you mind if I get a little taste? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the hungry cape. And hey, if adult men can do it, then so can Pablo. Yeah, then so can my four-year-old cat. Yeah. Yeah, we're four breastfeeding. It's on yeah, our We mark. are. We honestly anything, fucking anything are. Anything for my little girl. Anything. Well, today's subject <laughs> is, oh, Caught in the Act. It's a really fun one. So you guys mm-hmm. sent us your stories, listeners. You sent us your stories on being caught in the act, catching other people in the act. And uh, got to say, you didn't let me down. Here's the thing. We both woke up early this morning. Harper and, heard me screaming. Okay, so my room is directly on top of yours. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, I'm painting. I'm having a nice calm morning. And all of a sudden, I start hearing like gut-wrenching screams. Oh! Whoa! Whoa! And I was like, Jesus. So I texted text like, me. I'm like, what's wrong, Honk? And you were like, these stories are unhinged. I woke up this morning and because I always proofread the emails and I read them to them for the first time. So you guys here for the first time on this podcast, I go through them. Um, I was reading them this morning, and when I tell you, I was shitting in my bed. You were shitting, pissing, hissing. I was shitting, pissing, and hissing. <laughs> I was dragging my fucking eyelids across the concrete. Because you were was... dragging your labia on the concrete. I did the split on a fucking spike, on a fucking torch, on a lit torch. You put a jawbreaker in your mouth, duct taped it, <laughs> hit your head with the fucking air. Impaled myself with a fucking whaling harpoon. <laughs> you screamed. waterboarded yourself. I waterboarded myself. I kicked myself in my own fucking tits because these stories had me gagged. You were eating sand fleas like fucking popcorn. I was eating fucking <laughs> sand fleas. I was pulling out my labia lips, tying them in knots, <laughs> screaming. You were putting your hemorrhoids in bow ties. Yeah, I was putting my hemorrhoids in bow ties. So what do you guys want from us? <laughs> so what the fuck do you want from us? <laughs> what the f- Fuck do you want from us? Okay, so I'm gonna okay, let's, let's get into it. it. Let's get into it. We have uh some... guys, I had way too much caffeine. I'm so sorry. Um, don't be a pussy and apologize. Fuck. Okay. Got our first story of the day. Caught my roommate in the act story. Hi, Gabby, Harper, and Lee. My name's Matt, fake name, and this story takes place when I I was a freshman in university. I was hanging out in my dorm room with my roommate and his ex-girlfriend who was visiting for the day. After a while, his ex left to go see some other people she knew. 
I was feeling tired, so I laid down for an afternoon nap and slept for like two hours. When I woke up, I felt that the vibe in the room had shifted. It was dark except for one dim lamp near my roommate's bed, and I heard a faint sound. For whatever reason, I didn't get out of bed normally and instead slowly turned away from the wall and turned to face my roommate's bed. To my shock, I saw my roommate fucking his ex on his bed like eight feet from me. That's so close. Um, I realized the sounds I was hearing were the sounds of his ex as they were going at it. Mm. I didn't want to awkwardly get up and make things weird, so I turned away from them, closed my eyes, and pretended to sleep in hopes that they were almost done. They weren't <laughs> almost done. They okay. kept going and going, and they were getting louder and louder. At this point, I was getting annoyed at them for doing this while I was here and myself for not getting out of there as soon as I woke up. I was also honestly a bit curious slash horny. So I decided to sneak a quick to sneak a quick peek. I turned towards them and watched them for a bit when the worst part happened. My, oh my the worst part hasn't happened. Okay. My roommate stopped moving and without looking in my direction, he said Hello, Matt. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Without looking at your... Hello, Matt. <laughs> Not... Hello, Matt. Hello, Clarice. Um, in that moment, my heart was racing so fast, I thought I was going to have a heart attack. But I didn't want to get caught, so I stayed absolutely still. <laughs> Neither of us moved for a while. <gasps> But he eventually broke the tension when he resumed having sex. I was so mortified. That's a sociopath. I know. I was so mortified from the experience that I texted a friend to call me so I could pretend the call woke me up. My friend called me and on like the second ring, I jumped out of bed, bed and ran out of the room. I didn't come back for a couple of hours. Ten years have passed since then, and my roommate and I are still friends, but we've never talked about that incident. How? I've also never watched anyone else have sex without their consent after that. Okay, but then you did develop a fetish. You said, Daddy like it. Okay. I, that's, okay, hold on. Backtrack. My roommate stopped moving, and without looking in my direction, he said, hello, Matt. How did he? So, okay. So he, I'm, I'm guessing the girl, like, tapped him. Uh, the, the roommate, like, signifying that she could tell that he was looking. And then I'm fucking dead at them also both just, like, laying there for, like, a couple of minutes in silence and then them just going back to fucking. And so uh, is... And Matt's eyes are just open, like... Yeah. Okay, wait. So, uh, wait, turn your head that way. So okay. you're the guy who's... You're Matt. Okay, I'm Matt. Okay, you're Matt. And then I am over here fucking... How did he know? Wait, and, he, and he just goes. I okay, Matt is okay. You're yeah. you're Matt. I'm the guy fucking. Hello. Well, and then he turns over. Well, no, n oh, Matt you does. do turn. Matt, Matt does turn over because he sneaked a peek. Right, you're sneaking yeah, a so, peek. So I'm sneaking a peek. Hello, Matt. <laughs> How did he know? He, did he feel it? Yeah, maybe the girl saw. I mean, he said he was getting horny. Maybe he starts like panting or something. Oh, Maybe so he wasn't self-aware. Oh, it's so fucking funny. No, this that's is... what I'm saying. I feel like the girl noticed, and I feel like she yeah. tapped the roommate, and she was probably like, you Eight know? feet away. That's like, literally like, what, you and He's me? He's wrong for doing that shit. Yeah. yeah the roommate's wrong. wrong. Oh, no, they're all wrong. I but... would be fucking pissed, dude. That's honestly crazy. If I... you were the girl in that situation? If I was anyone in that situation. If I was the roommate, though, if I was Matt, I would be like, I would be like, come on, you fucking, fuck you guys. I don't know. I am go find not like a, a broom closet or some shit. No, I'm not a fan of people fucking in the same room. No, that is wrong. That's wrong. Yeah, it is. Did it say how old they were? At they university, were so probably freshmen in university. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah, that's when young, you fuck in front of people. What is? How old are you? 18, 19? Yeah, eighteen. Yeah. But still, yeah, seventeen you know, maybe. Ugh, God, hello, that Matt. Also, not him watching, but also it's like you're just so horrified. You're like, uh, what the fuck? It's but so fucking funny. Have you I ever don't... watched somebody have sex? Yes. Have you? 
Well, I I guess I uh, Lee, I bet you're into it. I can tell. Yeah, Lee, you just got so excited. You just jumped up. You're yeah, doing said, jumping jacks well, right I, now. I have I have a story. I have a good story that it's just like that I just remembered when you guys were telling. Okay, go on. Okay, t- yeah, go off. Okay. It was uh <laughs> oh, this is bad. Oh no, no, better. <laughs> yes, go, go. Okay. So it was I had to have been my freshman year of college and I went back to my hometown for a party and, or I, and, and, or I went back to my hometown and there was a party and I stayed there like way too late, but like, I, I guess I couldn't drive or something, but for some reason I was there until like sunrise and everybody was asleep and I like found this like weird room to try to sleep in and I heard a noise and I peeked out the window and I saw a girl and a guy who I knew having sex on a trampoline in the backyard and I jerked off. Go off. Was she hot? It, yeah, she was cute. You were jerking off watching them? Yes. See, here's the thing. Listening to other people have sex, it is that weird thing where it, like, it makes you mad and kind of horny, but like mad. Yeah, it's like a rage horny. But here's the well, thing. It just makes Lee straight up fucking horny. <laughs> yeah, no, it makes him like happy horny. How, have, how does it make you literally, feel? Literally, well, one second, because I just want to point this out to those of you who are listening. I, and I've known you for a minute now. I have never in my <laughs> life seen you as happy <laughs> and just elated as you are right now. As he was telling that story. You are like literally just he like. Was, he was like shaking yeah, with excitement. Yeah, he's like, he's gyrating in his seat just, oh. I have a good memory for you. And I'm like, what? Why are you turning into Jolly? Oh, no. okay. Well, okay. If you heard people having sex, so does it make you horny or does it make you angry? Okay. There was one time where it was like, I don't know how to, okay. There was one time where it was not rage horny because I knew it was happening. I was like a part of the, uh, Let's say it was, it was, we, I knew it was going to happen. It Part was, of the foreplay. It was like a quote unquote, it was like a soft core threesome. It was when I was still a virgin. So I wasn't going to have sex with these people, but then they started having sex and I was just like in the room and I was like, okay, whatever. I was drunk. I was trying to be cool. It was actually just kind of weird anyway, but I was fine with it. But then I had an experience like Matt's when I was in my senior year of high school and it was like a bunch of us on spring break. And there's like, it's a room full of bunk beds. There's probably like four bunk beds and it's like a bunch of couples in there. And like, you know, we're just like splitting it. And one couple decides to start, go- I think his name is Bill. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but I don't care. But so Bill and some girl start fucking in the middle of the night. And I like wake up cause like we hear the bed mo- in their bunk beds. And so I like wake up mm-hmm. and I just look up. It's like little fucking prairie dogs, like popping their uh-huh. heads up. We all look up. We're like, who the fuck is fucking right now? And then my friend Sarah was like, ew. I just <laughs> got- <laughs> Stop. I mean, yeah. Like, I don't know. Dude. I don't know what is so disrespectful about it to me. I hated it. I hate it. Like I used to be able to hear my old roommate who lived in the room before you fucking in her room. Oh, I and they would go about fucking this. hard. And I would just, I remember like I was so, and they would do it all the time. Every time we came over, I would, and he came over a lot and I would just be like, God damn it. And here they and go. And wouldn't you say things? I started texting her because it was so loud. I'd be like, girl, you need to stop. Like I can hear you fucking. And she'd be like, oh, sorry. And then she would do it again. And <laughs> I remember one night I was just like in my bed, just so mad. Like I was at like, I was I had, like, like tears invasive. in my eyes. Well, yeah, oh, and I'm like honey. trying to sleep and I was just like fucking and I would like cover my ear, my ears and my pillow and just be like fucking stop. It's just like a lot. And then like you have like, you have no control over like the mental images. Like when you hear like that, like. Oh my God. And then you're like, then I'm like downstairs in the morning and I see them walk down the stairs and be like, hi. And I'm like, fuck you guys. Damn. When it's a roommate situation, it's definitely mm-hmm. uh, a, a little, it's rude. It's so rude. Yeah. Okay. Shall we? Yeah. Gorgeous. Disneyland trauma. (laughs) Hey, ladies. I wanted to share this story because it's super fitting for this week's podcast. In 1996, my parents decided to do a big family trip to Disneyland. Myself, big brother, parents, and two other families all flew down from Vancouver for a week. A few days into the trip, after a long day of rides and stuffing my face with food, we all went to bed. Myself and brother were in one bed and my parents in the other. The room had two queens. After falling asleep, I woke up a few hours later to some odd noises. I listened intent- intently intensely, to figure out where it was coming from and what it was. 
It didn't take me long to realize that my parents were fucking in the bed next to me. Okay, no. I distinctly... <laughs> no, dude. I distinctly remember nudging my brother to try and wake him. Yeah, that's good. Bring the brother in. <laughs> if I'm going to suffer, then you are too, bitch. Yeah, right. In hopes that he would have the balls to say something and make it stop, but he didn't wake up, so you're just alone in this. After what seemed like hours of this... That brother was faking. Yeah, he was. He was jacking up the whole time. (laughs) After what seemed like hours of this, but probably only a few minutes now that I look back, my mom... God, I bet that just felt like in a... a It was like microwave minutes. (laughs) Oh my God. Yeah. My mom whispered to my dad... No. Stop. Let's go to the bathroom. Bitch, you should have already been in there, you feral monster. They (laughs) then... They then proceeded to go to the bathroom where the noises of ball slamming Ah! became louder and faster. Oh! I remember feeling so scared. Being nine years old, I knew what sex was, but I had little knowledge of it. After they finished, they came back to bed and went to sleep. Oh, how nice. As if they didn't just fuck in the same hotel room as their nine-year-old daughter and 12-year-old That's son. That's child abuse, bitch. I'm, like, getting pissed off. To top it off, the next morning... Nine and 12? That's nine wait, and 12. can we hang on that for a second? Yeah. yeah. That's so young. That's, That's like, young. That's... Yeah. Well... Get them a different room. Get adjoining room. Literally. Here's the, well, here's the thing. Or if, just don't fuck. If it's, like, a nine-month-old... No, month not, old, huh. Yeah, okay, yeah, you need help. But no, no here's, yeah, don't, go, don't go back to fucking Twitter your because kids. that is so fucking insane. No, because Ball it's like slamming. Let's, nine and twelve. Your kids bathroom. are fully cognizant. That's yeah. disgusting. Okay. No, let's go to the bathroom. Are you on fucking Molly? <laughs> <laughs> the they fuck? honestly probably were. Okay. God. So to and top, at Disneyland? Yeah. You're horny for Mickey Mouse? Uh, yeah, something something in Disneyland brought it out. They're then. pedophiles. Okay, go. Stop. <laughs> to top it off, the next morning, my mom came over to me while I was still laying in bed and said, good morning, while planting a big, juicy kiss on me. It was juicy because it's still covered in her, da- like, the fucking dad's and, semen. Yeah, after gargling her fucking dad's balls and then kissing Jesus. her on the face. Good morning. <laughs> I am actively pissed. This is fu- and then this is fucking hilarious. Attached in the email photo, attached in this email is a photo taken that morning of me and my grandma hours after my parents fucked besides me and not and not long after that dick breath kiss. To, to this day, I've never asked my brother if he was really asleep. And she sent a picture of <laughs> her grandma and her, I won't show it, but I'll show you guys. Can I, can I turn it this yeah, way? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this little girl's fucking face. Oh yeah, no, that's a perfect. That, yeah, that just is like the face of no. a girl who's like, fuck me. That's a face of a girl whose innocence it? was yeah, robbed. I mean, yeah, we'll just cut this out. Look at that little girl's face. <laughs> <laughs> the inno- She's just sitting there next to her smiling grandma, going. The innocence was robbed. Oh, yeah. hilarious! All Thank you for that picture. Gone too soon. And Fucking that, hilarious. Yeah, you can really see how like little they were, and she was the older one. She was the younger one. Oh, she was the younger one. <laughs> she was nine. Her brother was twelve. Oh, Jesus. Her brother. Their brother must be fucked up. I, that was yeah. The brother literally that would is, fuck you is up. Jerking There's off to no way. At parties. There's yeah. no way they were asleep. Oh no, no way. No way. 12. Thank God my parents monster. stopped having sex after I was born. I've <laughs> never heard my parents having sex. Yeah. Fuck no. My, I heard my mom over I, when I was really little. I heard her in the kitchen talking to her friends once and she was like, I haven't slept with John since Gabby was born. And I was like, <gasps> all right. <laughs> well, and that was it. And that was 30 years oh ago. Oh my God. My, I just remember this. My parents, um, but I'm not excited about it. Like Lee, Lee. Yeah. Okay. This is not a happy memory for me. Lee. I'm excited about but, my parents. <laughs> Mm. Sorry, okay. Jesus. <laughs> Lee, stop jumping up and down. Okay, no, but <laughs> Lee, stop drooling. No, uh, but my um so I grew up in like a double cul-de-sac or whatever, like in uh, North Carolina, and like all the kids were always like running into everyone's house all the time. And my neighbors across the street, one day, like a like a horde of us all run in there and we're playing games or something, and then we hear like this this noise, and it sounded like really intense, like um people wrestling is what I thought. Um, and so then I tell my friend that she needs to go into the back bedroom and go check on her parents. And they were, I guess, doing it like doggy style. And like, she, I guess, okay. So I was nine. She had to have been, or maybe I was like 10, whatever. She was like super young and she was younger than you. Yeah. Yeah. She was probably like eight. 
or seven and like ran back in there and then comes out and her face looked like that little girl's face. Just, I know that look very well, just like completely solemn and then told me what she saw. And I was like, "Uh oh, and they were fucking a lot. Actually, our parents fuck. Oh God, not ours, but definitely not mine. Ours as a, yeah. Parents fuck disgusting. Did you ever hear your parents? One time I walked in my house and I, um, how old were you? I was a teenager. I was probably 15, 16, and I smelled weed. And I was always in trouble for, for weed. Like, I was just always in trouble for weed. And I walked in my house, and I smelled weed. And I was like, what's going on in here? And I walked up the stairs, and it was in the summer, and, like, the carnival was going on. So, like, we, we were down at the carnival, and, like, you know, I was smoking weed in the woods. And they – and I w- smell it, and I creep up the stairs – and then I and then I hear my mom go ah! and no. slam the door. Yeah. Was she in there with someone? Or was she was in there with my stepfather. Yeah. Oh really? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You think they were smoking weed and fucking? Yes, one hundred percent. Nice. Yeah. And then uh, I grabbed what I was there to grab and ran out the door. So yeah, you're like, was that a little, little bit traumatizing? Like yeah. And then they would fight all the time. And then <laughs> one time I remember it was the middle of the night and my mom stormed out of the room saying, you never fuck me anymore. Stop. No, no you fucking didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that is, is, is she still married to him? I don't know. I hope she's not listening. No, they, they divorced. <laughs> okay, sorry. They divorced a long time ago. Fuck. They, they divorced right when I graduated. So they divorced like. Wait, and how old ago. were you when you heard her say that? I was a teenager. It was a teenager. Teenager. Was like, yeah, about the same age, 15. Jesus 15. Christ. Wow. That's a nightmare. That's that's the one That's one thing that you don't ever want to hear one of your parents say. You really don't. You don't. Oh my God. Yeah, no. Should I? All right, next one. Yeah, go because this is triggering memories. All right, caught in the act. Crispy couch. Mm, I already hate it. <laughs> Oh, Dearest Gabrielle, Harper Rose, and Lee. Oh, that was really cute. Once upon a time, I was in high school and had a girlfriend. I promise that's true. (laughs) We were hanging out at my mom's house in a room that has a wall that is completely made of windows. Night fell and my mom took my sisters on an errand and left me and my real girlfriend and I at the house alone for a while. So naturally, we get to business. Long story short. I'm fucking her mouth when my mom and sisters come home. Mm. I don't realize this, of course, because I have zero spatial or social awareness at the time and only realize it when my mom is knocking on one of the windows. Naturally, this occurred the exact moment of my orgasm and I panicked and threw myself down onto the couch to escape her from judgmental gaze. Not thinking about the fact I was now pumping a couch cushion full of cum. (laughs) Not pumping Pumping a couch cushion full of cum. (laughs) My my mom gave me a stern talking to about how my sisters could have seen and the importance of discretion. She also made the interesting choice of asking me if I liked oral sex. (laughs) Huh? Because you you gave her some ideas. That is fuck. So she gives you a stern talking to. She sees you fucking coming into the couch, and she goes, she goes, hey, don't don't, don't do that do around that. your don't do that around your little sisters. But but hey, do you like that? You like that? <laughs> she gave a good blowjob, huh? You like that sloppy toppy? You like that sloppy toppy? Yeah. Can I, let me ask her some questions. Hey, so like, what technique was she doing? A lot of tongue. Was she on the yeah. tongue? Did she spend a lot of time on you the like head of the tea? penis? You like yeah, because like I saw you. You came a lot. Son. You did. You pumped. You. You filled up a couch cushion. Yeah, you saw a you full filled, cushion, full of cum. My we son. have a water couch now, and that's <laughs> yeah, and that's my son, and that's my cum son. And yeah, and she yeah. then she she taps him on the back and she goes, "Go get her." Yeah, she Attaboy. goes, she yeah. goes, they grow up so fast <laughs> and they come so hard. That, that's my <laughs> that's my big boy. And that's my big cummy tummy son. Yeah, mm. <laughs> that is fucking horrendous. <laughs> I can't hey, believe you came. What else do you was... like, Sunny? Yeah. Stop. Mm. I just picture him like flop down on the couch and then just like <gasps> writhing the couch. Yeah. Ew. And also what happened to the girl this time? God, how embarrassing for that little girl too to have to walk out and be like, hi, Mrs. Blah, blah. <laughs> With just a fucking mouthful of pubic hair. <laughs> she like takes the cushion as a souvenir. Oh but it's God. too heavy to hold. Yeah, it's just dripping full of cum. Full of cum. <laughs> 
She's just like dragging this. God damn it. That's a haunting story. Float. That's a haunting story. Okay. Yeah. Ready for the next? I hope you and your mom are cute. Okay. <laughs> this one's called Busted. Okay. So I got married in August of 2021 to my dream girl. Oh, that was okay, recent. a couple of months ago. Congratulations. Uh, well, oh. for how long? I wanted to see her. I wanted her for so long that when I got her, I swore to myself I'd never lose her. <sighs> Problem is, is that I'm an actual sex addict. So about a month after we got married, I realized the sex we were having wasn't good enough to quench my thirst. So I started hooking up with this girl I had met at my local bar. Shit was going pretty well until my wife decided that we needed new phones and convinced me to switch from an Android to an iPhone. She also requested we share locations just in case anything happened. Yeah, because she actually knows what you're fucking up to. One night at the bar, I'm having a wonderful time with my side chick. And she requests that we go to our usual spot, the women's restroom to fuck while we're inside the stall enjoying each other's company don't call it enjoying each other's company when you're yeah you're kind of you're okay um enjoying each other's company you mean sucking and fucking yeah you guys are fucking slurping and gulping yeah okay so you guys are fucking each other raw in this Shame stall episode. Yeah, fucking it's is. a what Shame well we, episode. i'm not shaming I, well, here's the you're thing you're always pa- shaming pa- i'm not shaming oh fuck off here's the thing we're gonna shame a little bit because i don't i actually don't like that phrase I, I, like i know sex addiction obviously is very real but it wasn't good enough for me no that's not what he said what did he say he didn't say that it didn't satiate it didn't quench his thirst and that's a part of... I thought he said it wasn't good enough to... No, you're not listening. We yes, were... I am listening. No. Read it back. Thought... Okay. I realized the sex we were having wasn't going to be enough to quench my thirst. He's a sex addict. I heard good, but okay. Okay. So they're in the stall and I heard nobody coming. loved me. Yeah. <laughs> um, don't put that on me, Lee. Okay. I, hear the, I hear the door bust open and hear my wife yelling my name. I try to be quiet, but it was pretty obvious what stall we were in. My wife kicks the stall doors in and her bestie sprays me and my side piece with a fucking fire extinguisher. (laughs) (laughs) Bitch! Her also, where her did you bestie. get that? You just fucking, where did you get that fire extinguisher and you just bust into this bar? They're like, hey man, where are you going I mean, with the fire? it's probably in the fucking bar. Yeah, but you have to like break glass to get that. So what Not they fucking- Not all places. So you just like pull it off a thing. Yeah. Wild. Okay. Then- Then they snatch my side out of the stall and proceeded to beat the fucking shit out of her. She's yelling for me to help her. My wife is yelling, how could you do this to me? Mistakes were made and I really miss my wife. I'm in counseling now, but I don't think she's ever coming back. Yeah, probably not. Yeah, probably not. Because that's, fuck- that's fucked up. Um, but that's quite a scene. That quite is a scene. Iconic. I wish I was there for that. I wish you that's well. That's the drama that I live for. I really hope you get recovery and like you're all, you know, you take care of that. But I do have to say, I really love the way that she handled that. Also, you said you're in counseling. I don't know your life. I don't know what you do. But if you haven't, check out SA, Sex Addict, SAA, Sex Addicts Anonymous. Sounds like it, that's where he is. That's the that's counsel. Well, he can be in yeah. therapy. Yeah. yeah. Well, he, he admitted, we'll do both. He admitted that he was a sex addict. So. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're right. You're true. right. Yeah. Um, Godspeed on your journey. I know that sex addiction can be a real fucking. I'm not truly, I'm not really a sex addict, but I know that a lot of men fall into this category, and I am sorry. That yeah. is a wild story. Okay, yeah. so yeah, yeah, yeah. so Follow got it. married this to the woman of his dreams. Year. Woman of his dreams got didn't wrangle his sex down addiction. Yeah, with a wonderful evening with my side chick. Yeah, wonderful evening at a bar too. You're like taking her to a fucking yeah, a wonderful a, evening. a Chili's bar. A wonderful evening in our usual spot. There's like a fucking dead rat in the stall. Yeah, they have a, yeah, they have a usual bathroom that they fuck in a usual bath god i used to work at a bar and people would always fuck in the bathroom so gross. So- also it was always they were always fucking in the men's restroom and not the women's huh oh because wives don't walk into the men's room mm-hmm. that's true well they were in the women's that's bathroom that's where they messed up yeah i was i was at um oh my god what is that the like famous musicians bar on sunset rainbow the rainbow room mm-hmm. I was at the Rainbow Room like three years ago and I walked into the bathroom and there was a couple fucking so loudly. I had never heard that before. That's on brand for for that. Three clubs I walked in and someone was fucking in the bathroom. I was what? I who still wants used to it. fuck in a bath? Never mind. What? I'm going to say who wants to fuck in a bathroom, but I have done it once. Oh, so. <laughs> it's a different... I was a different girl back then. I used to make out in bathrooms, so I've never... Never gotten the old holes rammed, huh? 
I don't even know if I could perform in a bathroom. It's too much going the, on. The poopy smells. You know what? Go do some field research, and then we'll check back yeah, in check next back episode. In. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Helicopter. It's, but it's yeah. COVID right now, so it is difficult to get into it bathrooms. Is, it is. Yeah. I. You're looking at me like I could make that happen. <laughs> We are we really looking are. at you like that. <laughs> All we right. expect a lot. And <laughs> you ready for the next one? Okay, so Lee's gonna do field research. Go. Walking in on someone. Oh, another one. I honestly have a few of these from a child walking in on my parents. Talk about trauma. It sounds like everyone's parents need to I kind know. of stay in their fucking lane. To having Jesus. Uh to having people walk in on me. Wow. Okay. So you guys are going around in circles. You're mm-hmm. walking in on your parents. People are walking on, in on you. Right. Break it. But know. I'm going to go with the one that I'll never forget. Not funny, but more eye-opening to how shitty people are. Oh, oh fuck. Yeah, this is an early one. Uh, I think this story has stuck with me all these years because of who the person became. And I never have understood why bad people end up successful. So here it goes. My best friend and I... Uh, trigger warning. Uh, my best friend and I... For assault... My best friend and I were 17 years old and working in our first restaurant. One of our older coworkers threw an epic Halloween party. Naturally, back then, when uh, people heard of a huge house party, randoms would always show up. So a group of local skater boys came and my best friend knew some of them. Uh, No biggie. They were fun. Well, everyone's getting wasted, and I realize my best friend is nowhere to be found. I'm searching all over this house, and no one has seen her. I finally go into another room. Yes, this house was huge. And I find her. She was passed out hard, and one of the skater boys had his ha- his hands down her pants and was putting her hand down his pants. She had no idea what was going on. I screamed at him to get off of her. He yelled at me to get out. I screamed, she's fucking passed out. He kept yelling at me to leave, but I wouldn't. And he finally got off her and I ran to her as he left the room. That's she was okay, but had no clue what was even happening. Most of them ended up being pro skaters or local famous in some way. I tried to tell people at the party what had happened and everyone just brushed me off. Even for years to come, that dude always talked shit to me. Funny because he never knew me. If I saw him in public, it was always name calling yelled at me because you fucking saw who the fuck he actually is yeah this dude grew up to be an artist thankfully he moved out of state but his art and graphics are all around town and haunt me to this day i remember this like it was yesterday but it was 17 years ago it makes me angry that people can do stuff like that to your so-called friend yeah my best friend was friends with this dude It makes me more angry that he's successful. So I say this in closing. If you see a girl passed out, whether she's a friend or not, help her. Make sure to look out for her. Help her and keep her safe. Do not try to take advantage of her. I'm honestly just so glad I found her when I did because he had no, because I had no doubt he would have tried to take it further and he didn't even think he had done anything wrong. Truly mind-blowing. And furthermore, if he had done that to one of his so-called friends, I can only imagine what he has done to more girls. Mm Mm-hmm. Truly living up to his skater boy crew name. That is so bad. So I'm so sorry that happened to your friend and to you. That's so and the fucking ima- sad. And the amount that this happens. Oh, it happens all the time. And it's like a sense of entitlement. And the fact that he got caught and was just like, no, get out. Like you he was get like out, right? hell bent on doing it. That's disgusting and yeah, he, I bet fuck. he I bet he would have fucked her. That's awful. Of course. Well, okay, so um a therapist once told me. That usually when a girl is uh, sexually assaulted, raped in any degree, that usually it is not the guy's first time doing that. Yeah. And so, like, you you know, it can happen to a girl maybe one, you know, it happens a lot. But, like, it can happen to you one time. But, like, that's not, like, usually the only time a man has done that. Right. Yeah. You know. What's fucked up? I don't know if I should I'll say it. Um, this is from somebody that I grew up with. So now I'm, like, racking my brain to think of, like. Because I knew all these same people, mm-hmm. like this like skater crew that she's talking about. So I'm like, who the fuck was it? Who grew up? T-? And I have an idea because I know that I know somebody, one of the, the guys from where I grew up did become a successful artist and he moved out of the state. So I'm like, like what's she's it? talking about? Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know if it's him or not. But like that probably is. Wow. And if but- that is, then he, that guy is dating another girl that I grew up with. And I wonder if it's that guy. Fuck. That's 
so fucked up. You know, that also kind of reminds me of the movie Promising Young Woman, which you and I watched and we loved. Um, yeah, so good. Watch it. Where, yeah, that movie's incredible. Uh, written and directed by Emerald Fennel. Mm-hmm. And, but the uh, the main character is avenging her her best friend who was raped. Gang raped, I believe. And, yeah, uh, gang raped and it was filmed. Yeah, and it was filmed. It was, it's horrific, but it's such an amazing movie. Such a good movie. movie. Such a good movie. Um, but... She like does that. She like tricks men into thinking that she's like passed out. And yeah. Goes, oh, you want to do what to me? And they're like, oh, never mind. So good. And um, but I love that this friend refused to leave the room, and that must have yeah. been so fucking scary too. Especially when he's and traumatizing at you. for you too. I mm-hmm. can't imagine how fucking traumatizing that was for you. And that, going around to and like I just and trying to tell people you're to trying be like so desperately to get, get someone to give. And, and isn't that so fucking sad when like care like why do you not fucking care right and then all of the other people at the party are just like shut up shut up and you're like he was trying to fucking he was taking advantage of my passed out friend and everybody's just like you're a dumb bitch you're being dramatic yeah infuriating no, you were in the, completely in the right that reminds me of the movie kids Ugh. Uh, remember that scene where mm-hmm. he's like fucking the passed out girl and then ends up giving her aids mm-hmm. nightmare yep Nightmare. Anyway, n- on to the next. Another day of being I said, a woman. Trigger, trigger warning. That was that's trigger a, that warning, was a difficult that was story. Heavy, but yeah. it's also like that's it's also a beautiful story of friendship. Just like yeah. you know, and also yeah, the awareness like how serious it is to take people seriously in those situations. Um, it's really infuriating that nobody took her seriously. And I do. I, god damn it, I'm gonna like go on a deep dive to find out if this is the guy that I know. Yeah. Ooh. And you know what? This is also another, this kind of ties into it, but it's like, this is why cowards don't make good friends. Like this girl was so fucking brave yeah. to stand up for her friend because when you have like a guy screaming at you, yeah. anyone's screaming at you and then like you start feeling like, oh. Because that guy could like beat the shit out of you. Yeah. And she was, that's she so just scary. stood her fucking ground. Like that's really commendable. That's so scary. Also, yeah. Also him becoming successful. Fuck that. That's it's, so, he'll get his. I fucking hope. That's so. Mm, mm-hmm. You hate to hear it. You hate to hear it. All right, onto a lighter one that I thought was really great. Um, fan mail, cute, and a dream. Oh, so somebody sent us some fan mail. Well, oh, okay, not not you, Lee, because Sorry, you'll Lee. see. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Fan mail and a dream. Fan this ma- is what I was screaming at this morning in oh, my bed. Oh, okay, okay. Hello. I like to ask people about their dreams and share mine. I just want to say I think you're a beautiful woman and I appreciate your content. However, I'd like to share parts of my dream with you. Your, your honk co-host. I forgot her name. I'm so sorry. Bitch, it's on the fucking... Th- I, I, literally, I can't. That, but also... <laughs> I'm Don't dead for go. them saying your honk co-host. Not your honk. You remember honk, but not Harper. It's Harper fucking Rose. I'm, bitch. I'm fucking dead. Okay. Okay. <laughs> go. Your, your honk co-host. I forget her name. I'm so sorry. Yourself. Not forgiven. Yeah. Yourself and I went on a spontaneous road trip. The dream structure. Who was in the passenger seat? You'll see. You'll hear. Okay. The dream structure fell apart afterwards. We transitioned to a fully nude riding on a small hill of other fully nude people in the middle of the ocean. It was liberating and free. We transitioned again to a bedroom. I checked I checked my phone as you changed your t-shirt. Your titties were magnificent. He's, he's talking about me, by the way. <laughs> These are my tits. <laughs> I have a double A chest, so thank you. Um, uh, your titties were magnificent. I can't thank your dream self enough for sharing. <laughs> I feel violated. I hate this. The dream transitioned for the last time to both you and your honk co-host, Leaving in a lifted pickup truck, I woke up feeling fulfilled. I hate you. <laughs> Please. No. Take care of yourself and be safe. Okay, you know. I don't like our fans all of a sudden. You know what? <laughs> Here's what I have to say. Yeah, honk co-host. 
Subscribe to our Patreon. Yeah. <laughs> subscribe to our Patreon. Here's subscribe here's- to our Patreon and we'll we'll tell you who that person was. Men are no longer allowed to have dreams. I don't want yeah, you not. to dream. I don't want you to think about things. I don't want you to use your little imagination. I don't want you to have free time. Yeah. You need to always be working or just so tired that you are dead asleep. No dreams for you. <gasps> Lee, did you write that one in? That was under you, a Lee. different name. <laughs> Imagine, yeah. imagine all of these <laughs> stories were from Lee under different names. I, I don't like the t-shirt. I don't, I don't, like, the I don't like, I woke up feeling for, and now I don't like, read it in that voice. That's what I'm thinking. I, that I woke up it. feeling fulfilled, fulfilled, no. which means he had a wet dream and yeah, came like no, a fucking want, monster into his bed. No, into his crusty bed sheets. I, here's what I want to say to our fans, our fans, the podcast listeners. I, here's what I want to say. Yeah. If you ever do have a dream about us, we are, there's nothing underneath these clothes. It is like a Barbie. It is, there's nothing. There is no fantasy for you. No nipples. We're just fucking. If you want to picture anything, sand fleas. Sand fleas. Sand fleas fluttering amok. I'm fucking dead. Your titties were magnificent. We should make shirts that say that. (laughs) Your titties were magnificent. Were magnificent. Like it faded. And then on the back having it say, I woke up feeling, I woke up feeling fulfilled. (laughs) Would that that would be so with, with funny a, with a crusty couch cushion? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like a dripping couch cushion. Or, yeah, that's so good. Or a pickup truck, a lifted pickup, a truck. lifted pickup truck. So or, is it or, like is it or ri- <laughs> naked riding in the waves with other naked people? Like like what there's the just there's just that? a gaggle of naked people yeah. riding horses through the in, surf in the ocean. Yeah. Ew. That was so. Who dreams like that? I like to share my dreams. Oh, don't. Don't share your dreams I, I anymore. A, I have a fence. Hey, hey, don't fucking do that. I, I don't know who told you know what? You want to know what this is? Yeah. Someone <laughs> made the sick, sick perverted mistake of indulging this this monster's dream. And I just want to say that is not us. Do not ever regale us with a dream again. Fuck. I say that right them in. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly I'm on Lee's side with this. No. Right on, keep keep on writing. I don't like men's dreams. <laughs> yeah, I want more. Actually, you know what? Do send more of your dreams. Just don't tell anybody else about your fucking dreams. You know what? If you write it in if you write in another dream, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. You have to subscribe to the Patreon. <laughs> yeah, you have to subscribe yeah. to the Patreon. Yeah. You can only write them through Patreon. You have to pay us yeah. if you want us to read Yeah, that. you do. Yeah, and you have to pay us. It's like a dick rating. <laughs> a dream rating. <laughs> Yeah. Rate my dream. Oh, was fuck, that Rate was horrific. Rate my dream. Oh my God. Rate my fantasy. Oh my God. Can we do that? Yeah. Uh, yeah, we should. And Ew. if you listen to this episode, please rate his dream for us. Yeah. <laughs> and also, please remember my fucking name. Not, God I know, damn it. Your honk co host. Is it good or bad that he didn't know your name? You know, it's, it's like. It's almost better. Yeah, yeah it's almost better. Right? It's also funny that he said that my tits were magnificent when you've clearly got. The luscious pair of tits. <laughs> Don't tell them that. Okay. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> no. <laughs> Moving on. I'm getting them reduced. Yeah. Let's okay. Go. Moving on. My mom caught me having phone sex. No. This one's a fucking insane. Okay, let's go. When I was 16, my ugly little toad of a boyfriend was constantly trying to fuck me. <laughs> <laughs> I love when people use the word toad. My mom always called me a toad. Anyway, your ugly little toad of a boyfriend was constantly trying to fuck you. That is so funny. That's so funny. I fuck. wasn't going to let him clap my cheeks, so we compromised on having raunchy phone sex while we both masturbated instead. <laughs> We usually only did this at night because back then Verizon had a special where minutes were free after 9 p.m. or some shit like that. Oh, my God. If he wanted to talk to me during the day, he'd have to call the house phone because my mom would beat my ass if I went over the allotted minutes on the cell phone. Well, Toad Boy calls up on the house phone, horny as hell, and convinces me to get naughty with him. He liked for me to call him Daddy. You're 16. And talk about how, how, how his great, big, massive cock was absolutely shredding and ruining my tiny baby asshole while moaning. <laughs> Why do men love men? Why do boys love to like fantasize about like destroying? Weird. I know. 
uh, or, oh, fuck, weird, I know. So, so while we were doing that, unbeknownst to me, my mom had picked up the house phone downstairs no. and decided to listen in to the whole thing. <laughs> That's, <laughs> did, no, not the whole thing. Okay, Did mom. not hang up, did not interrupt, just sat there like a fucking rat and enjoyed it, probably. The rat and the toad. Just sat there it's like a, a fairy tale. Just, just like a fucking rat and enjoyed it, probably. Oh my god! Not I mean, you, honey, you not you saying that about your mom? That's so funny. Well, we can tell from this. This, you know, they don't have a good relationship. Like a, uh, mm-hmm. that, well, I was going to say that she's a great writer. So she guess, is a great writer. She's, like, she's probably like spinning a great fantasy over the phone. Yeah, she. What? Well, uh, we'll get back to that. Well, okay. I finish and get off the phone. And go bouncing downstairs for a snacky. <laughs> Not a snacky. A snacky. Well, I I finish and get off the phone and go bouncing downstairs for a snacky. Yum. <laughs> While I rummage for a snack, my mom absolute rat rat fink fucking my mom's absolute rat fink fucking ass says, Why don't you tell your dad what you and your little boyfriend were using our phone for? <laughs> I said, No. I said, uh what? And she said, Yeah, they were having phone sex. I picked up the phone to call my brother and heard it all. My dad nearly choked on his sandwich and I scurried out of there to avoid punishment. Scurried. Now who's the little rat? That is a haunting story. I like that the dad is just choking and you're running. Also, the mom listening the whole time. Also, not him talking about your teeny tiny asshole graphically on the phone. So, like, how is this going down? Like, you're like, yeah, I fucking love your big, fat, juicy, honking cock little toad boy. And he's like, yeah, show me your little tiny, tiny virgin asshole. Let me stick my big, fat, honking cock. Except, you know, and his voice isn't like that because he's like a teen. Yeah, so, and so he's, he's like, like a little like, toasty. Oh, when I get in that yeah. ass, I swear to God. When I put my big fat honking oh, cock into your fucking tiny baby, tiny little baby asshole. Your little micro hole has no match against my hog. And your mom is just sitting on the other side of this, just like, being like, what? My son. What kind she's of? She's thinking no, about like No, this is the, the daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. The daughter. She, yeah. Well, yeah you, like, you know, like the mom's just like replaying she, like the hours of labor she went through. Yeah. And, and the mom, yeah. And she's just like sweating with rage she's like my daughter and she's also vigorously masturbating so she's yeah, like rage yeah. masturbating she's like, you tell him honey yeah <laughs> i can't no, no she's mad she's like no fuck my daughter fuck her yeah lee didn't like that lee lee stayed silent lee. didn't crack a smile <laughs> Lee, why didn't you like lee, that why didn't you like that one lee why didn't you I, like that it lee? brought back a uh, memory Oh God! Why? Do you want to tell us? <laughs> um, well, you know, you had cell phones when I first got a cell phone. Yeah. My, my, I had a girlfriend uh, all through, like from from like eighth grade all through high school, mm-hmm. and we would have phone sex. Mm-hmm. And one time, same before, girlfriend from eighth grade to high school, pretty much. Yeah, wow. until until like in like later in high school, it got a little messy. But um, I uh, we we would have phone sex, and my mom clams open the door and says, I know what you do in here at night and I Stop. don't like it. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, know I what don't you- like it. Okay, that that triggered my memory of my mom caught me masturbating one time. We had a family back massager. It was like one of those big ones that you like mm-hmm. roll across your back and I was like, I was a teenager and I was laying on my bed just like flat wearing a robe and I just had the back massager like on my little pussy I was laying there like, yeah, my mom barged into my room and then she looks at me and she goes, ew, I know what you're doing. And then she slams the door and I was like, oh, no, I was just massaging my legs. (laughs) (laughs) In a fucking robe. Yeah. I'm done. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. (laughs) Um, We'll do one more and then we're going to, we're going to open our Patreon with a couple of these stories and whatever and uh, most of the advice. Uh, we will do some of the advice right now and uh, go to the Patreon. It's the same as the Instagram at Tea Time for 2069 or just search Tea Time with Gabby Lamb and Harper Rose Drummond on Patreon. Um, but go ahead. We'll do one more. Do and then one we'll more. We'll do, do a one little more. bit of advice here, here okay. for you. All right. Okay. Here we go. Caught in the act. A couple of years ago, I was dating this guy. We'll call him Buffalo. Buffalo. Okay. Uh, what? Why why not Kevin or something? No, no, no. Buffalo. Why not Ke- Kevin or Absolutely Jason? Not. Yeah, no, she said Buffalo. It paints a picture. 
Kevin is just you're thinking average. Buffalo. Buffalo. I'm thinking meaty. I'm thinking girth. Yeah. Okay. So you're. <laughs> I'm thinking like a meatball sub. So you're with Buffalo. That's. I don't think that's good. He was my. He was my first ex's best friend. But that's another story. Okay. I was in college at the time and didn't go to school. But he lived with my ex boyfriend, who didn't know me and him were secretly dating at the time. Since the day me and Buffalo met, we hung out daily. We'd stay in my dorm sometimes, but I had a roommate most of the time in the beginning. So we slept in his car in the middle of the city since we couldn't go to his apartment. <laughs> okay. Enchanting. Uh, anyway, we decided it would be a good idea to spend the night at my parents' house where I lived a while while I was not in school. Oh, where I lived while I was not in school. We decided to go there at night because we didn't want my parents to know that Buffalo was there. They found out because in the middle of the night, we had my bedroom window open and the lights on. And my dad went outside and got a grand view of Buffalo eating my ass. <laughs> <laughs> he ran upstairs. He was plowing. Yeah, yeah. he was. Uh, and that's why they call him Buffalo. Yeah, because he likes to graze. Ooh, Ooh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He ran upstairs and told him to put his clothes on and promptly kicked him out of their house. Then later I got texts from my mom saying this isn't the no-name hotel, yada, yada. <laughs> Needless to say, I learned my lesson to close my window and blinds at home, but elsewhere, no one is safe. <laughs> okay, threat. I like it. Yeah, right. I you will be watching Buffalo tonight. The it's imagery, because like the imagery I have in my head is like you on, like with on your head, with your asshole up in the air while you're spreading your ass cheeks open, and Buffalo's just in there, and you're making dad, noises. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, back to Nang. <laughs> yeah. And dad walks in. There's sees, a lot of animal play on this pod. Yeah, there is. Hmm. Well, well we do talk best about wishes. Fucking dogs, a good amount. We did open up with fucking dogs and flea bags or whatever the fuck. <laughs> flea bags. Um, we have a few left. They're so good. So we'll get back to them. Thank you for emailing us because I have, love these stories. There's there's some really juicy ones left. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Really? I'm not gonna fucking lie. Yeah. Patreon.com. Patreon.com. Tea time for 2069. Um. Yeah, hell yeah. Let's move on to advice, yeah? Yeah. So that will conclude our Caught in the Act stories for today, which you guys did not let us down. Thank you. Fuck. Good stories today, you guys. Really we good. love you. You know what? From here on out, whenever we tell a story and we change someone's name, I'm talking like for, you know, us and also for y'all, pick a wild ass name. Buffalo is fun. It doesn't have to be Kevin. It doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be Matt. It no. I like it. Okay. Yeah, next time do like snake bite. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Dream weaver. Dream weaver, yeah. Okay, wait, actually, no. You know what? Before we get into a fucked up one, we'll go into something kind of cute. How to get past, how do you get past the first two weeks of sobriety? Meetings. Meetings. Every day, meetings. Make friends at meetings. Talk to people at meetings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Share at, at meetings. At, something that I was never good at is when people give you their number, use it. When you feel, when you think, when you think you're going to use, use the number instead. So true. Reach out. Yeah, that's what you do. You need to go to meetings. You need to do fellowship. Share. Would you also say if you have like Sleep. a crew of uh, drinking friends, don't hang out with like the people that. If that triggers you, yeah, don't do it. Yeah, you really got to cut people off for a little while. Yeah. Really, you got to cut people off for like months, a couple months. The first two weeks is, for me, the first two weeks was fun because I was like, I got this. And then after that, it started getting bad. It was started getting hard. Same. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Same. Go to meetings. Share. Yeah. I My one year is uh, next week. Yay. Yeah. Oh, wait, I think mine is too. Yeah, Jan I, think, 4. I think we'll get together one more time right before <gasps> or, or on it. Oh my god! Oh, Lee, That's let's really do cute. a cake on the next one. Uh, um, you didn't seem excited about that. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. Yeah, day before. Um, you don't want to do a cake? I'll do a cake. Yeah, sure. Hey. Why aren't you excited? I guess, no, I guess it's about me, and I'm just and I, I low key hate myself. So oh, well, you're an alcoholic. Okay. That's why. <laughs> um, Stop. No, no, but use use the numbers, reach out to people. I know it's scary. It's the scariest thing. And it feels like you're like encroaching on somebody's life, but they give you that number for you to use and use it and reach out. You're not alone. You're, you're, you know, you go to the meeting so that you find people to help you through the times that you need help. Yeah. Yes. There is no more welcoming environment than 12 step rooms. Everybody's been there. Mm -hmm. Everybody's been there and everybody is willing and ready to talk. All right. Next one. Okay. 
How to get someone to text you back. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> I've got an answer for this one. Don't don't come at it with cuck energy like <laughs> uh, ha ha. Been a minute. Ha ha. ha. I know <laughs> Hong uh, Kong. Uh, <laughs> I know how to get him to text you back. How Gabby? You tell him you just got hit by a car. <laughs> And you're knocking on death's door and you say, I just wanted to tell you, like, thank you so much. Or, like, I've been thinking about you. I'm in a really bad shape right now. Probably going to have to get my legs amputated. <laughs> I'm under the knife right now. For me. Yeah. I would prank call <laughs> and pretend to be a, a kidnapper and say that you have yourself hostage. We have to change your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And say, like, something really bad is going to happen to you if you don't. Text me. Yeah. But it's really important to be good at voices. <laughs> and star six seven is the is what you put in front of the yeah, number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how questions? to get some how to get somebody to text you back? You don't. They either do or they don't. It's really you, po- a- you post like some like thoughty shit on your Instagram, not too much. And yeah. then they might and then they might text you. And, and then they if might. they don't, then keep it moving. Yeah, that is true. Always, especially when you're single, always make sure to have a roster. Never put your eggs in one basket. Or tell them that you have an STD and. <laughs> oh, tell them that you just got uh, Omicron or whatever it's called. Yeah, tell them you got Omicron. Omicron. That was great advice. All right, next one. <laughs> <clears throat> How do you dump someone before Christmas? <laughs> you just do it. You don't tell, want to get that you, gift? You tell them you got Omicron. <laughs> And you need to spend some time you tell isolating. Them that you were hit by a car. You tell me you were honestly any advice you give, it's gonna be the same. You got hit by a car. Or ask rather. And you had Omicron when you got hit by a car. It's gonna be a really tough time for you, and you just don't know if you can emotionally handle the weight of a relationship. Mm-hmm. Next question, easy. Boom. Be honest. <laughs> Why? No, because now it's being boring. Um, but. <laughs> I yeah, just, because there is always an excuse. Yeah, you're, it's yeah, hard to you break up with people because you're well, because you're always just like there's always a date. Oh well, it's gonna be Valentine's Day. Oh well, it's his mom's birthday. Oh well, his dog died. Well, here's oh, the well. thing: if you were smart, you would have done it first week of December, but you're not. So uh, <laughs> it's getting kind of down to crunch time. It's it crunch. Is. Because here's the thing: if you if you do it, if you don't break up right now, oh, so this is coming out after Christmas, I think. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is. Com- oh, well, then you already fucked up. Yeah, this is coming out the day after. Well, Christmas. listen, you probably didn't we, do hopefully it already. You did it. Hopefully, you did it. You should have done it. I, I would say first two weeks of December. Obviously, first week is ideal, but first week, you know, first two weeks of December or are prime- see it through Christmas before New Year. Yeah. Fuck, to break up with someone after Christmas, right before the New Year, that's not enough time really to like find like a a good because pl- you guys probably already have New Year's plans together. Fuck it, whatever. Yeah. Okay. Is Gabby actually dating that guy? <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, yeah. She, yeah, I am actually dating is. that guy. The other day, somebody insulted me on Instagram, and then <laughs> and then my boyfriend jumped in to like be my boyfriend and just oh. to be like fuck off. And then the guy who was saying mean things to me started calling me a man and was like telling Shane he was like, why don't you? He was talking to Shane. He was talking to Shane saying, why don't you go cuddle your boyfriend calling me Shane's boyfriend? <laughs> Shane is so fucking funny and cute for coming to your public defense. But that is so funny. Why fun- don't you go cuddle your boyfriend, rap main Shane? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> two kings. People, yeah, two kings. <laughs> two king supporting kings. Kings king supporting kings. <laughs> Hey guys, we've come to the end of the show. And if you like this show, tell a friend, please. Honestly, the more people, the better. Uh, Tell a friend, tell your enemy, tell a family member, subscribe, please share this. And uh, when you share it, it'll help us bring sponsors and we want to start getting sponsors and we love you and we love your stories. Please keep listening and sharing, like we said. And And uh, subscribe to our Patreon. We're going to, we have some old advice. We have some stories. We have some extra stuff that we're going to do our first Patreon episode right now. So subscribe at tea time for 2069, patreon.com slash at get a free and you'll get a free sticker. Yes, you'll get you'll get the yeah, stickers. Yeah, and the stickers are the, really fucking cute. Well, I guess cute. it's not free because you're subscribing to Patreon, but subscribe to Patreon and you'll get a sticker. Yes. And whole picks from Harper. And you don't know which hole it is <laughs> until you subscribe. Patreon.com <laughs> slash tea time for 2069. Plot twist, it's Lee's hole. All right. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Bye.